Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I've tried to film this voiceover several times and I just can't get it right. So here we go. Take, I don't even know, but we're doing a wish list video today for American Girls because I have not done one of these in probably over a year. And within that time, I have been able to cross off so many dolls that I had on my list, whether they were newer or ones that have been on my list since I got back into collecting. I have been so blessed and fortunate over the past year to be able to get some really incredible dolls and deals. And it's just been really fun. So I have the entire historical collection. So there are no historicals on this list. The bulk of this list is the truly me, just like you, my American girl, girl of today line. Oh my gosh, why couldn't they have just kept it what it was called in the first place? <laughs> because that's a lot. And I do have two girl of the years because although I'm not a completionist when it comes to that line yet, if I'm given the opportunity, I will complete it. But for right now, there's only two of them that I wish to add to my collection. So I don't want to go too in-depth with this, but these are just dolls that I want. Some of them are new to the list. Actually, quite a few of them are new to, new to the list, so that's kind of exciting. Others have just been on there for a while. It's not that they're hard to find. It's just that I just haven't bought them yet. So in no particular order, we just do categories. So I think I'm going to get the girl of the years out of the way, and then we're going to go to the the big one. Girl of the year 2013, Sage Copeland is a doll that I had in my collection, and then for some reason I decided, hey, I'm going to customize her, and I'm going to eye swap her and my first Kanani, and then it was just all a big disaster from there. I have wanted this doll back in my collection for so long, but my thing is, I would like one new in box just because of her hair. I want it in absolute pristine condition, so I'm kind of a I'm a little bit picky when it comes to Sage. And the only other girl of the year I want as of right now is Gabriella McBride. These two have been consistently on the wish list. I could get her as a 46 or a Gabriella. It wouldn't matter to me, but regardless, her name would be Gabriella. I would kind of prefer her as Gabriella, like a, you know, like just marketed and sold in the box as Gabriella. Like I, I would love that. So those are the only two goddies for now. And the only other girl of the year I want as of right now is Gabriella McBride. These two have been consistently on the wish list. I could get her as a 46 or a Gabriella. It wouldn't matter to me, but regardless, her name would be Gabriella. I would kind of prefer her as Gabriella, like a, you know, like just marketed and sold in the box as Gabriella. Like I, I would love that. So those are the only two goddies for now. Next is Girl of Today 5. I don't know why, she just seems like really cute. And since I have number four, like I kind of want a few that are kind of in her little singular digit category, if that makes sense. I would love a number one, but I don't actually know if I'll ever find her, but I'm not going to give up hope. She's just not on here because like, I don't know. I don't see that ever happening, but um, this one, for some reason, I don't know. A lot of the older dolls, to me, they just, they actually are becoming way more appealing, and I'm just really loving them, so we've got a couple super old ones on here. This is number eight, and my friend recently bought her, and then I was like, why do I kind of like this doll? So now she's just added to the wish list. I really love her eyes. They're super, super beautiful and striking. I absolutely love them. And she looks the more, like, unique out of the dolls in, like, the first 10 dolls that look similar to Molly and Samantha. Like, she looks, you know, different because of her eye color and her hair is a little bit different as well. These next two dolls, I didn't mean to put them in order. That's just how they fell number-wise. But this is number 11. And the one after this, they are both my first and second like the one that's in terms of the ones I want the most here so they're kind of like my new grails number 11 is definitely a grail because she's not hard to find she's just hard to find in good condition priced reasonably so it's going to take me a little bit to get her but basically she's the new four she's the new 40 and she's the new 15 and uh, Cecile too what that means is I wanted those dolls and I waited and I prayed about it and luckily um, God was watching out for me and I was able to snag all of those for really great deals. So hopefully that happens with 11. Next we have 35 and initially she was on my wish list and then I was able to get my sister's Mia doll and for some reason I was just like the doll is just too similar to Mia. I do not want but very quickly I changed my mind and I have been hunting for her ever since. Now she is kind of hard to come by i don't exactly know like why but she's a little bit difficult to find so i have found her i have seen her but just not one that has spoken to me so the weird thing about this one is though i already have her name picked out i had something picked out and then i read a book and i decided i really loved the name in that book so that's going to be 35's name but i need the doll first and usually i don't actually name them before i have them but i think this is probably 
the only case where that has happened so far. So she really needs to come the, to the collection because she already has a name. 43 has been one that I didn't really use to want, but then she reminds me a lot of 38. So I have 38 and I love Virginia so, so much. And 43 just kind of gives me those 38 vibes and I really, really like her. I love the dolls with the pin straight hair. It's just so adorable. And I've got some friends that have her and she's just really really cute another one that's kind of kind of hard to find but not really she's just one of those that falls victim to the overpricing unfortunately so we might we might be waiting a little bit for this one as well which is it's totally fine number 50 is one i didn't really pay attention to and then once i did i decided i wanted her and then once i decided i wanted her i realized she is like one of the most difficult dolls to find not in condition wise literally to find period and then because of that because she's hard to find people jack up her price so this one i'm never negative with this type of thing but this one i might not ever own her but never say never because obviously like all things are possible so i i want her but it's not going to like break my heart if i never get her in my collection but she's always one that i keep like on my wish list just in case the opportunity does arise and i can get her because she's very very beautiful and i just i adore her so much and she's such an extremely underrated doll from this line 54 here is one that i kind of didn't really want until i realized that i need a doll with a jess mold and bangs to become my jade of my little brats collection that i have here with the american girls because i have a yasmin i've got a chloe and i have a sasha i also have a roxy as well but going with the main four you need a jade so this girl is going to be my jade i guess like she already has a name as well but that's because she i i need the brats crew so this one I didn't really want her and then I've actually never owned a Jess mold with bangs and most jades like the original jade Bratz doll has bangs so I think if I can get one that looks exactly like the doll it would definitely be this um oh my god I almost called her like 45. 54. 55 should come as no shock she has been on the list for a while and if you all know the story of when I went to Chicago and I had a 55 in my hands but I ultimately put that 55 back and I came home with my 61 Lolita who is one of my favorite dolls in my collection so I don't regret that but what I do regret is not getting her sooner because you know none of us saw this like huge Truly Me revamp coming and usually anytime they release new Truly Me dolls they just add them to the current ones so none of us really saw all those dolls retiring as soon as they did so she's very common but Given the fact that she is a lot like Sage with her wig, I would like a 55 new in box just because I I want the hair to be in pristine condition. And for all you cat lovers out there, Miss Olivia has found her way onto my lap and is giving her opinion as well. 80 was another doll I thought I had all the time in the world to get, apparently not. She was on my benefit sale list, but either um, Koa could not find her or there were no 80s. I don't remember anybody talking about there being any 80s there, but I could be totally wrong. Again, I didn't go to the benefit sale. Lynn Life was my little like proxy and she got me my benefit sale dolls. So this girl was on my list. I think she's really awesome. I think her unique combination of the darkest skin tone with the Josefina mold is just absolutely gorgeous. And this doll is a prime example of why I'm always saying they need to play around with hair, eye, skin, and face mold combinations. 100 is, oh my god, my voice did some weird thing. 100 is actually kind of a little weird surprise here. So she is literally 27 with eyelashes, and you're probably like, 27 is so common, like why did you not want her? I will take her if I find her, like you can find her new in box like everywhere, that's fine. I personally really like the eyelashes, so I put 100 on here because I didn't actually want any variant of this doll until I saw 100 in stores um I think last December was the last time I was there and I was kind of like yeah okay like if your skin was lighter and your hair was a little bit different you could be a perfect mini me so like I I don't know just something about 100 I really liked so I don't know if I'd actually add her or 27 but I put her in here just because like she is the variant of the doll that made me want this particular doll 109 is extremely unique for a million different reasons and you're probably like wait but she's got unnatural coloring in her hair yes she does i have corinne 
and this girl seems to have like just very subtle unnatural colored hair like Corinne I did have 110 I tried I really did but I did end up selling her just nothing was connecting like I feel really bad because I love the just mold with the blue eyes and the light skin tone like that is my favorite thing but I think I just needed solid blonde hair Jess but you probably think well oh you could have just like wig swapped her well I could have but you know what she's she's fine somebody else is loving her and that's perfectly okay but this one I've seen her in person before ordering I think I could definitely manage this one and every time I see her in like photos on AGIG I just seriously I love her she's really really cool and I love her eyes 12 was one of the first dolls from this new wave that we actually got to see and I really liked her from the beginning she was just never super high on my list and she still isn't but I would love to get her someday she would definitely be extremely unique to my collection because I don't have a lot of people compare her to 58 obviously there's a world of differences there but there are some similarities I kind of I don't know 58 is very cute but this one for some reason I just like her a little bit better so I think she's really cool and I would love to have her in my collection I actually did not pay attention to her when I went in December so I really have to see her and kind of you know how it is you have to like study the doll in person to see like will they will they vibe with my collection I don't know I feel like she would though I feel like anybody who knows me knows how much I love and want this doll so this is 115 and she actually almost came home with me in December but I bought 102 instead and I would not trade Charlotte for the world so this girl Yes, she has been kind of dubbed the Taylor Swift doll. Obviously, the eye color is different, but her wig is very reminiscent of 83. And if you guys don't know, 83 is my favorite Truly Me doll ever, ever. Nobody will probably ever replace her. It is different, but it does remind me a lot of Sienna's wig, which I like. So this doll is probably a little bit higher on the Truly Me wish list than a lot of the other ones we've seen today just because she is like one of my favorites that is currently still available along with the next doll you're going to see here so i love 115 she might be the next truly me doll i get but don't don't hold me to that i love 117 i have loved 117 ever since she was released about a year ago and I think she's really pretty. Love the face mold. She really does look like a, mar uh, a modern Marie Grace. Excuse me, I cannot speak. I just woke up like an hour ago, so please just forgive me, all right? But obviously the eye color is different. I think she's really cool. I think she definitely fit in super nicely with my collection. She is, like I said, if I had to pick like between the dolls that are available now, it's definitely 115 and then 117 and then the others are just kind of like... I don't know they're all like on the same level I guess but I really really love this one as well and lastly we have 123 now there were a couple in between her and 117 that almost made this list and I might actually bring them onto the list in the future I'm not quite sure but this one is actually kind of iffy so this doll is very cute not gonna lie she has the McKenna face mold and the McKenna face mold is the only face mold I do not have in my collection because when they came out with McKenna I had completed every face mold, like I owned at least one variant of every face mold, and I was just like, okay, cool, and then McKenna appeared, so I was like, okay, she's cute, um, I'll probably have to get her, but then they came out with this doll, and I'm a little bit happier about that, because this doll, the McKenna face mold looks really young, okay, there's nothing wrong with that, I like it, like this doll I think is cuter than McKenna, so my thing is the way I dress my dolls, and especially like my modern ones, they are perceived to be like late late teens to early young adults okay so I kind of have like a I don't know if I would dress her she's definitely not going to be dressed as like a lot of my customs like I don't know Opal and Roxy she's not going to be dressed like they do but she will just be there a little bit older than or actually way older than what American Girl dolls are supposed to be so the face mold does look really young but I think for purposes of me completing the face mold collection because I'm not a completionist when it comes to every American Girl line but I am a completionist when it comes to historical and the face mold collection so I'm going to have to get a doll with this face mold eventually so I just put her on here because I'm missing this mold. And with that, we have my updated American Girl wish list for fall of 2023. Now, again, does that mean like I'm going to buy every single doll on this list within the next year or a couple months? Absolutely not. Some of them might fall off the wish list. New dolls may appear on the wish list. It is just always super fun to see like what my taste in dolls is yearly or I don't know, like 
every six months or so so that's why i made this list i know you guys really love this and seeing this and it's just it's kind of fun so let me know who your holy grail ag doll is at the moment mine is definitely 11 and then 35 is a very very close second so let me know down below i would absolutely love to talk about that in the comments with you all if you have not already give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button to join the fam and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment i post a new video have a blessed day and i'll speak to you all soon bye everybody